So we're sitting in the middle of uh, Ray Trace and being surrounded by so much Dekton and seeing the, the size and kind of gravitas of the material has really changed my perception of it. You know, when you see an application of, of Dekton like this, it makes you understand that it can be used for something architectural. Months of preparation went into creation of Ray Trace and a huge amount of that obviously was theory. But you can never legislate for something that's just this big. What makes Ray Trace different and so emotional is that what we've designed here isn't a thing, it's not an object, it's actually a feeling and an atmosphere and space. But we also love to use materials that are highly crafted, are from nature, and use the raw materials around us. And I think Dekton you know, fuses those materials that are around us to create a super hard wearing material that lasts a long time that we can use on any application. And in Salone, when it's so crowded and chaotic, it's a place of escape and contemplation and, and thought and relaxation even. When somebody steps into Ray Trace, we hope that it has a strong impression. So we hope that they are interested and intrigued and excited by the size, scale and, and sort of depth of light and emotion. And as a designer and, and personally, you know, it's very difficult to work out exactly how this is going to feel. You know, the impression of size, the impression of the material, the impression of light. One of the, one of the biggest emotions, maybe shouldn't say as a designer, but is the relief that the, all the theory converted to something powerful in practice. <laughs>